the earth is covered by a variety of regions of characteristic vegetation called biomes. Examples of biomes include tropical rainforests, like those found in the Amazon basin and northeastern Australia, the temperate deciduous forests of Europe and the eastern United States, the coniferous forests, or taiga, that span much of northern Europe and Canada, grasslands, like those that once covered much of the central United States, the African savanna, that supports some of the Earth's great populations of herbivores and large predators, chaparral, found along coastal areas in places like California and the southern tip of Africa, tundra, that covers much of the land near the Arctic Circle and the upper slopes of mountain ranges, and deserts, like the Namib along the southern African coast and the Sonoran of the American Southwest. All living organisms, no matter which biome they live in, require four basic resources in order to survive. Nutrients, from which to construct living tissue, energy to power that construction, liquid water to serve as the medium in which the reactions that build living tissue occur, and temperatures appropriate to carrying out life processes. Nutrient levels sufficient to support life are found in most of the Earth's surface strata, as is witnessed by the taiga and grasslands that cover what was once the bare rock left by receding glaciers and the lush paradises that exist on islands formed by the lava flows of volcanoes. Likewise, sunlight, which is the initial source energy for all terrestrial biomes, is available in adequate quantities in most biomes at least part of the year. However, the other two requirements of life, liquid water and temperatures appropriate to carrying out life processes, are unevenly distributed on the Earth's surface. For example, liquid water is much more readily available throughout the year in tropical rainforests than in the Earth's desert communities. Likewise, temperatures appropriate to carrying out life processes exist throughout the year on the African savanna, while on the alpine or arctic tundra, appropriate temperatures may be reached for only five months a year, and even then may be much lower than those of the savanna. Thus, it is largely the availability of liquid water and temperatures appropriate to carrying out life processes that sets limits on the amount and types of organisms that can exist within a given biome. In deserts, for example, plant and animal life is sparse due to the limited availability of water, and though the species inhabiting any of the Earth's great deserts may differ, they all have adaptations that enable them to deal with extreme heat and drought. Likewise, all the species living on the tundra have adaptations to deal with extremely cold, harsh winters, short growing seasons, and the layer of permanent frost that lies in the soil right below them, even in the summer. The major factor affecting the distribution of water on the Earth's land surfaces and average temperatures at various locations on the globe is climate. Let's now look at the forces that shape the Earth's climate and then at the different biomes that are created as a result of climatic variations around the world.